Ukrainian army continues to knock out the Russians from positions in Tavria. Alexander Tarnavsky, commander of the Tavria grouping of troops, said that the defense forces continue to push the Russian occupiers out of their positions. He noted that over the past day in this direction, the enemy lost almost four companies of soldiers killed and wounded. Also, 56 units of military equipment of the occupiers were destroyed and damaged. This includes nine tanks, nine infantry fighting vehicles, two armored multi-purpose transporters, two howitzers 2S19, MSTAS, a self-propelled artillery mount, 2S3, Acacia, self-propelled artillery installation, 2S5, Hyacinth, anti-aircraft missile system, Strela 10, multiple launch rocket systems, Urakan, three sets of radio electronic jamming, Jittel, electronic warfare system, Pole 2, Kamikaze drone, Shahed 136, two armored vehicles, Tiger. Over the past day, Ukrainian forces destroyed six warehouses with ammunition of the invaders in the Tavria direction. On June the 12th, 2023, the Ministry of Defense announced the liberation of seven settlements in the southern direction, Lobkovo, Levadnoi, Novo Darovka, Neskuchnoi, Storozevo, Makarovka, Blahodatnoi. On June the 14th, the Ministry of Defense reported that the armed forces of Ukraine were advancing in the direction of Berdyansk and Mariupol, there was an advance, but heavy battles were being waged.